Let's fucking go. Nice. That is the wrong. <laughs> that is the wrong output thingy. Come on, don't tell me you're about to crash just because I want to change my audio source. Yo, homework, what's up, man? How are you doing today? We're out, we're out here. We're about to... Just, I don't know. Just about to work on some track I started recently. But yo, how are you, man? Yo, Dazi, what's good, man? I'm good, just chilling, about to get into this beat that I started yesterday. I thought I would uh, just flex a little bit, just see what you guys think of this. And yeah, I should have uh, I I should have been streaming more often, but I've been busy with with so much lately. Yo, banana bread, what's up? Actually, wait, let me, uh, let me also, uh, do this. Um, I need to hear myself. Ba -ba 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 -ba. All right. Let's go, dude. What's new with you, homie? Uh, anything crazy happening? Uh, there's crazy things happening that I'm not allowed to talk about yet. They're a surprise. But, um, been working on, uh, this set. I went to film this pre-recorded set that I'm gonna do visuals for. It's gonna be, it's gonna be amazing. Uh, sample pack is done. Just waiting on splice. And, uh... I'm about to release uh, a few tracks that I only have on SoundCloud. So, Stroll, Delete, or Thrills, uh, Delete, More Life, those will be going up on Spotify and other places pretty soon. And I'm very, very excited for that. All right, this is what I'm uh, working on right now. Yeah, it is cool. Oh, wait, hold on. 
that's what I got so far. Um, the reason why I didn't put those songs in Spotify on in the first place was um, I was under a label contract, so I wasn't allowed to uh, put release any songs while I'm in that contract. But now I'm out of it, and I really want to put those songs up, so they should be they should be out pretty soon. Uh, hold on, I'm just trying to get my Twitch stats window up. There we go. Hey, thanks guys. Actually, this is the first decent track in a while I've actually made. I've been making a lot of 16 bar loops lately, but this is like... <laughs> I'm actually like getting somewhere with a track for once, and it's it's pretty it's pretty cool. Especially these ARP things here. It's three times OSC. What I was gonna do is low pass this first part. What's up, man? serious that's that that's been happening a lot more often like every time i consolidate something in fl it just it just uh shits itself i don't know why yo color parade what's good man Yeah, big bra moment. Uh, I think I I think it's because I also delete um updated FL recently, so that might be why it's glitching a lot more. Okay, I better I better start pressing Control S constantly so I can like can save myself from a headache.
Oh, my bad, my bad. I forgot to change that. <laughs> section right here uh, and then I'll disable the master effects because we don't need that <laughs> Excuse me for a second. I gotta just take this call. I'll just leave this playing right now. Um...
We're back. Uh, that was my, that was my mom. <laughs> I want to make this as surreal sounding as possible. And yeah, was my mom on the phone. I wish there was a faster way to cut things. to name I need to name my uh automation clips oh Brandon you're asking how to get the automation pattern thing just make a just make a pattern clip um put it anywhere and then if you automate something while the record button is on it will draw what you automate in the pattern clip. Uh, it was the 
this one, right? Yeah, that's the one. Yo, Hotel Garuda. Uh, love your tunes. Also, have you heard of that new compressor from... <laughs> Am I about to get jabated? I'm, I, I'm not falling for that. <laughs> <laughs> That was, that was, I'm sorry, that was pretty obvious. <laughs> but you guys, you guys keep trying. Maybe one day you get, you get me, you get me someday. <laughs> That was pretty cool. Laxity music, guess what? Okay, what? What am I guessing here? <laughs> Chicken butt. Of course. <laughs> ha, got him. Let me also remove that clap. Yes, that's the that's what I that's what I want. Yo, Virgo, what's up?
But oh. like we're just having a conversation, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> I was like, I thought you were just there. Nah. This is heavy. Heavy. Alright, we're gonna go play some more. Alright, have fun. <laughs> I still feel like this needs something to fill in the uh, the low past parts here, like. Maybe something like that, I don't know. Maybe take this and uh, blur it. Well, Laxity's vinyl release come. I really want to put out a vinyl, but I don't know if uh, I don't know what the steps are to get a vinyl done. There's a lot of things in music I don't know, like music. Uh, marketing and I don't know like for example pressing vinyls I don't know how people do those I mean I can find out but uh, just never thought of doing one before Parametric EQ needs a thing where it like shows you where the playhead is in the LFO because it's hard to tell. Uh...
this. Uh, I normally put a uh, fruity limiter on my sidechain bus. And I normally put one, but uh, this time I have two. One for the snare and one for the kick, because I want them to sidechain differently. Um, the kick has a longer... Wait. The kick has a slightly longer side chain than the snare, so it's like quicker and then uh, it's just to allow for the mix to cut through, basically. your best don't rush it you've got this man i believe in you easy drop for oh. drop 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 I got lucky with this ambience, I can't lie. Uh, it's this. Um, so it's ba it's basically... 
I have this vocal chop in the second drop, which is this. I basically bounced that out and then did the uh, Edison blur thing on it and it became that. So I just used that as like a top layer for um, the ambience. Cause it's that it's this thing that's carrying the whole uh, wide ambient thing. If I take it out, it takes away a lot of the ambient. Uh, I'm also using uh, white noise as well. Just to fill in the space. And then there is... There are these... Let me just play... can barely hear them, but they um, layer nicely with the ambience. You notice if I take them out, it's like, there's a layer, there's a layer missing. So these are really important to the rest of the layer. Um, I made the synths. They're like, hold on. It's a uh, three times OSC. Uh, it, that is going into a patcher that I just made here. There's Maximus. Uh, these are the settings. Pause if you want to copy that or something. I don't know. Uh, some weird EQing here. Uh, and then I've got like a separate chain doing the reverb. I'm EQing the reverb so it's it fits nicely. And then low pass. I don't know why I low pass this. Wait one second. Yeah, the reverb is 100% wet, so I've just taken the dry down, and then I'm EQing it so it fits better in the mix. Uh, and then I'm just muting it when I don't... Um, I'm muting it because the synths have a very, very long release, so I don't want them uh, lingering around in between each fill. <laughs> Um, I mean, both works. Both work pretty well, so it doesn't matter if you use balance or mute. But but yeah, mute is the best for this kind of stuff. Right. What I want to do is one of these things. Uh, reverse vocal things. Get rid of that, and then let's see here.
Mm -hmm. uh, you middle mouse click and then right click. It opens this up. It's much better than reaching up here and uh, doing this. If you don't have a mouse and you use a tracker pad, just press F3 anywhere. This works in the piano roll as well. Press F3. I don't know about the mixer. Yeah, it work also works in the mixer as well. Uh, well, not not the same command. F3 works in the mixer as well, but the right click, uh, the scroll mouse wick, mouse wheel right click does this. It re it renames stuff. Oh my god! Yes, of course. <laughs> I mean, I've got auto save every five minutes as well, so I'm also covered there in case something happens. We'll see if this gets finished. Might do, might not. Might get put on the B sides, you never know. Jai Paul is. Should I check him out? Uh, and set, you could probably send me like a song of his that uses heavy sidechain. I'm down to check that out. <laughs>
Mm-hmm. Oh, if I remember correctly. Okay. I, yeah, I just never knew what that meant till now. So thank you. <laughs> Fruity Love Filter is a sequencer filter thingy. How much is it? I'm not sure. Uh, Fruity Love Filter. Uh, price. That should be uh, an information thingy. I don't know if it's if there's like a VST standalone version of it, but it's native, it's native FL. 
no, I'm pretty sure you purchase it with FL uh, when you get it. Like, once you buy FL Studio, you have to buy all the native plugins, which is... It's dumb when you think about it, but then when you when you realize how powerful all these plugins are, it makes more sense. I've tried with Ableton, but um, it's going to take me months to get fluent in FL. It's in Ableton, so I don't think I'll ever branch out. FL gang for life. Hey, Super Sleuth. Uh, I'm doing good. How are you? Damn, I need to, I need to eat something. I'm starving. I've actually been work working on this for the past four hours. <laughs> and then at some point I decided to stream.
Uh, do I want to do this? I don't know. Ableton Rewire. Uh, someone suggested that to me, but I'm not... I have no idea how that works. I'll need to find out um, how to use that. Uh, wait, hold on. So I'm gonna ch I'm gonna be lazy here and just do this, <laughs> cause fuck coming up with the second drop, it's too much. Oh wait, wait, wait! Something I need to do first. Uh, so basically, basically, highlight all of these, and then we'll pick like all the uh all the things in here that are melodic and effects um that as well this those are drums And then we do, yeah. It's re, it's resample time. <laughs> rewire is dead as of Ableton Eleven, anyway. R.I.P. Rewire. You had a good run, but uh, it's time for you to go. Still have no idea what it is, anyway. <laughs> sound nice.
right, let's do like a basic drum pattern here. <laughs> have this in time uh... oh man do you have something on the master how do you move the audio clip like that I have Fruity Limiter and Maximus in the sampler and um, how do you move the audio clip like that? I, you'll have to sh show me like what exactly I did because <laughs> there's like, I don't know, I don't know if you meant this or this or uh, what other methods are there? <laughs> I don't know. I I don't remember remember what I did. Like sideways when the arrows pop up. Oh, yeah. It's the uh it's the slip tool. It's the slip tool. You can hold alt to like finally move it around. And the menu you get it by pressing uh middle mouse and then right clicking and then you get the menu like anywhere. Anywhere in the playlist. Uh, if you're one of those, if you're one of those people that uses a trackpad, you just press F3 and it pops up. Uh, same goes for the piano roll. You just press F3 and you get all the uh, the tools that you need. Uh, this doesn't work in the uh, mixer. Well, it does. It does if you press F3, but if you right click, if you middle mouse click, it just renames things. So yeah. <laughs>
I don't know if this will work. Um, I have swing on for a couple of uh, instruments in here. Um, like, for example, these arps have, uh, so I have this shift knob turned up so that they're off grid slightly, which is uh, it's really cool for like adding some uh, some bounce. And I think I have plug-in delay on some of these. No, I don't. But yeah, I probably have shift turned on on uh, some other plugins to make it like swing a little bit. But um, everything except the hi hats, which is I'm just, I've just done this manually. <laughs> the day 40 pack yeah it's uh it's pretty amazing very useful See, I have everything turned up in Maximus, like just this much. And also, I've got a soft clipper on the limiter here, so it's... Um, it's gonna clip pretty nicely, but I don't want it to like sound distorted. And uh, I don't want it to conflict with the kick when I uh, put a pattern down later on. Uh, notes out of scale. Um, not often, actually. Pretty much everything I write, like all the melodies I write, are always in, are always in, uh, in harmony with others. You do art direction too. I mean, I did. I did a little bit. I need to. I need to. I need to continue this page. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're they're made in Photoshop. I used to. I used to animate a lot 
like when I was 15, 16. I'm 24 now. Um, but I really, I really need to get back into that stuff because it was fun. And uh, music and visuals work hand in hand. So it's like, you know, it would be really good for this kind of thing. Yeah, I fucked around with uh, Brett Blender a little bit. <laughs> Did I ever do stop motion? <laughs> I did in university, but stop motion isn't really something I like doing. It's horrible. It's it's weird. I don't think I'll use uh, an 808, so we'll just use the Reese again. I think you just petition me to be a power user. I think you just have to have like connects at image line or something. Or have like networked with them or something like that. Or become big enough uh, as an artist so that F, uh, image, image line is like, hey, let's use your clout to um, draw more people to our products or something like that. <laughs> What's up? How are you? Uh, favorite albums releases so far this year? 
Uh, Space Laces Voltage 3. That is all. It's enough said. Voltage 3. That's it. <laughs> 2021 is done after Voltage 3. It's all you need. Um, there have been some others. Who else have I been listening to lately? Okay, I don't think I've been listening to that much uh, new music lately, but, you know. Yo, Mars, check check it out. You're gonna just flip your shit, man. It's the best. I think it's the best voltage uh, mix yet. Because, like, there's a lot more variety. And um, you can actually tell that Space Laces' sound is, like, it's like evolving like crazy. <laughs> Fake Pauline here. Paulina is sus. <sighs> Man, making a second drop is hard. I'm literally like, I'm pushing for, for the second drop. The only ideas are, that, that I'm thinking of right now is like, just sorting out this ambience and the arps maybe changing them to something else and then like uh adding pauses in between and fills but i i hate, I hate doing fills they're so good but like just so hard to do uh, been listening to a lot of machine drum uh Okay, I'm thinking of Machine Gun Kelly. I was about to say, isn't that <laughs> Machine Gun Kelly? Starring music, easy. Finishing music, hard. I agree. Mixing, mix downs. It's the mix downs that slow down the process. Like, just trying to get everything to sound good. Especially if you add new stuff in, like, the second drop or, like, a different section of a song. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Shameless? Put a format shifter on a chord sample. I don't think I have a format uh, format shifter plugin that I can use. Do you know any free ones I can get? M auto pitch. I think I have those. Uh... No, I do not. I don't have them installed yet. Gotta install them. Oh no, I don't have I don't have any of the sound toy stuff. I'm I'm missing out. Yeah, I am. You would be too powerful with them. Alright, bet. <laughs> Wait, how much is... Oh, they're probably expensive, aren't they? Little altar boy. <laughs> hmm. It's 79 on Plugin Boutique, though. Hey, once I've saved up enough... Maybe, maybe I might get it. Producing, oh my god, lol, how did I never think of that? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm out of ideas for titles. Big latency in FL. But it's probably great for sound design, right? Hmm, renting. If it's like, if it's uh, rent to buy on Splice, I might go for that. Uh, for those of you that have just joined, uh, this is what we're working with today, so...
hold on. <sighs> the sample, the sidechain is messed up. Uh, snare, snare trigger, and wait, what? This is the kick. It's on snare. That shouldn't be on snare. It should be on kick. Snare trigger. All right, let's play this properly now. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, that's what we have so far. <laughs> big oof beat. <laughs> uh, big brain type beat. This is galaxy brain type beat. Cause you do you hear this this ambient atmosphere, bro. This is like universe astral projection type uh, ambience. Uh, the vocal thing is me singing one note in a sampler. And uh, this is the processing I have on it. Uh, without the effect, it sounds like this. Uh, if I go through the uh, processing for this, we've got picture, uh, formatting this, and then another picture, and then uh, some EQing, uh, limiter doing a bit of uh, saturation, and then a bit of distortion, and then it's going into OTT, uh, then we've got some basic re uh, reverb, and then we have like this reverb thing that comes in every so often like this. Like you can't hear it, but it's like it's really, really subtle. And then we've got love filter, like doing like a side chaining effect, just to have it like, just to make it have some motion in the track. So yeah, we're now doing the worst part of uh, songwriting, the second drop, just trying to come up with something different to the first drop, which is, which is always a pain, but you know, what can you do? <laughs> Shamana, what's up, man? Uh, what's that you use for the cassette tape effect thing? Nah, bro, it's it's cool. I can explain. 
Um, see, I'm not using any plugins for the winding down effect. I'm uh, basically resampling like parts of my song, parts of this track, and uh, automating the pitch of of the sample. So you see, you can see we've got like this, which is like a sample of the song, and I'm just doing this. If you have it in stretch mode, you can just do, you can pull off shit like this, and it's like really, it's really easy, and it's much more, it's much better than uh, using a tape stop plugin. Tape stop, baby. Uh. The cassette. Wait on the vocal sample. Damn. Uh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So in the side chain, I have gross beat over here, and basically, if you come here and mess around with this, you get like these kind of. So, if you have if you um, have that, and then you press record over here, and then you kind of like just mess around with this. Uh, you have you have these little automation things here. That's just like. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a crazy it's a crazy little feature that's uh, that no one knows about. But now now you guys know about it. So <laughs> it is dark in my room. One second. I'm trying to. Oof! Damn. No, nah, actually, that's that's way too bright. Hang on, I'm going to turn on the lights real quick. One sec. Yeah, all right. We're good now. French, the pronunciation of gross beat is the same as huge cock. Is that true? <laughs> oh my god. Is that actually like, is that an actual uh, pronunciation? Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. I wonder if Image Line knows that. That's why they named it gross beat. <laughs> wait, wait. How do you how do you type it in French? Like how do you actually like type <laughs> gross beat? Wow. Okay. Hold on. I have to see this for myself. My name <laughs> wow that's amazing oh my god wow that actually that actually does check out that's that's wild <laughs> my name it's lax city bro that's, that's my name you can call me lax or lax city whatever you want bro you need bttv what what's what's that?
And of course, there is the person that says laxatives. It's actually insane how how often that happens. Better Twitch TV lets you add extra emotes for people with the extension. How do I how do I put that in my uh, on my Twitch? That sounds useful because I'm I'm too I'm lazy to uh, I'm too lazy to um, make more emotes. Sorry, man, it's official. You have to change your stage name to DJ Huge Cock now. Sorry, I don't make the rules. Hey, I'll take I'll take that. I'll take that. Uh, you log in with the site with your Twitch account. Let's see. Top emotes. Du -du -du -du. Ah, yes, this is the shit that we need. Fuck yeah, let's go. How do I how do I do this? <clears throat> Wait, do I need to? Okay, so I've connect. I've connected it now. What do I do after that? Once you get BTTV, it's just a setting. Um, no shared emotes yet. Go find emotes. Add them to your cart. Add the channel. Is there a? <laughs> Is there an add all to channel? What? We just need to ref refresh the page like 10 seconds after he adds. Dashboard. I can add up to uh, I can add up to fifteen. Uh, now how do I? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to add some some more, but like it's just. What, I'm on the emotes. Okay, look, I'm here right now, and I don't know what to do. Like, what do I? What do I click? What do I? <laughs> okay, home. Oh, should I download that? Oops. Uh, go to home on the top bar emotes public library okay what what now click Omega lol <laughs> add the channel <laughs> Add lol cat jam five head. Is there a search function for this? Cat jams right there. What else? Like, will these actually appear in the chat if you guys type in these <laughs> emotes? Pog you. <laughs> what else what else we got ooh F yes gotta have the F in there five head what else get hyper get hyper Ooh, okay, let's let's remove let's remove that. 
Uh, so this is what we have so far. Actually, let me remove that because that's... I don't know why that's there. <laughs> oh yeah, this guy. We have to, we have to add this guy. Of course we do. Uh, let's see. What else? It sucks that PogChamp is, is banned now. It sucks so much. But what can you do? Oh, yes. Crab. Crab Rave as well. Pepe Meltdown. PP Overheat. There is a lot of emotes. Oh my god. Bum, 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 bum. Did it work? Uh, I don't even think I have it enabled. It works. I don't see it. Oh, wait, there we go. But I won't be able to see it in, uh, or do I just need to refresh? Do I need to refresh my, uh, my chat? Nope, it doesn't work. Also, uh, in the... <laughs> In the streams chat, it doesn't appear as well. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> Omega lol. <laughs> oh my god the memes are out now oh nice <laughs> um how do you check which how do you check which emotes are activated Shared emotes, global emotes. Yeah, it's in this chat, but it's not on the stream itself, which which kind of sucks. Or maybe I need to... Properties... I remove this and then put it back in there. I broke the chat. Oh man, it's not working anymore. I might have to refresh cache of current of current page. Guys, I broke the chat. Oh no. <laughs> Press F. <laughs> Might need to consult Streamlabs again.
Yeah, once I... Oh, okay. Uh, the chat is back, which is great. But we're not getting the better TV emotes, which sucks. Yeah, I can't. Uh, I can't see. Uh, I can't see all these emotes unless I pop out the chat like this and then just put it here. Yeah, this works. <laughs> Look at all these emotes. <laughs> they just they just started like spamming all this stuff. What does it mean? <sighs> all right. Uh, also, I've been streaming for nearly two hours now, so I might end soon. But let's see, let's see how far I can get with this second drop, and then uh, I'm gonna sign off in a bit. <laughs> Someone just said you're swag. I'm swag. Yeah, you're swag. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> he says thank you. Question mark. Thank you for the question mark. Swag. You should stream, man. Who? You. You should stream a lot more. Yeah. Build your audience, you know. Or join me on stream. It'll be funny. <laughs> Audio Technica M50s right here, and they've they've been safe serving me well for two mo two years, yeah, two years. But yeah, I mix on these and I master on these. This plus I've got a I've got a subwoofer on the floor. Don't worry. We got we we got bass in there. We got bass in there as well. So there's a sub on the floor and. Uh, the, these are the, uh, what do they call them? The tweeters? I think that's what they're called. Or is that the, or is it this? Is it this? Is that what a tweeter is? I'm not, I'm not sure. That studio monitor? No, it's not, uh, it's not a monitor. It's just a, it's just a set of, uh, small speakers that come with a sub. <laughs> that's, that's all it is. And I use them to test uh, test my mixes. <laughs> but I should get some monitors pretty soon. Yeah, man. I've used I've used headphones like ever since I started making beats. And that's all I've used ever since. But uh, I can't lie. I can't lie. They're kind of kind of doing a number on my ears. Like, a few weeks ago, I was hearing a constant ringing, and I was scared, and then I stopped making music for, like, three weeks. And then it went away, um, and ever since, I've not really... I've not heard the ringing in a while, so I guess that's good. <laughs> yeah, um... It was, it was, it was quite scary though. Guys, protect your ears. Protect your ears and stop cl clipping your kicks too much. I mean, I am clipping my kick a lot in this project, but um, not enough for it to like actually burst my eardrum or something. 